Hey, welcome back to BA Adventures. So today we're going to show you our review of Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida. Yeah, it was really, really neat. We had a great time. And like uh, we said before in this last video, which is up here that you can go watch, we are starting this little mini series of doing reviews of the parks. Uh, we're going to do islands and studios mm -hmm. together right now on this one. And then we will do... Um, Volcano Bay next and we will also do some tips and tricks of each park as well and we will also do some city walk stuff also so those are all four components of and I guess we could do our hotel as well mm -hmm. and talk about our hotel so uh, stick around like subscribe and hit that bell notification button yeah that way <laughs> whenever you guys uh, do that it'll send you a notification to let you know that there's another video ready to go for you to watch so okay so would you like to start yeah, so I'm gonna start with theming because it's a big deal to me. Mm -hmm. um, the theming in Universal Studios and Islands Adventure is just on point. Mm -hmm. um, Diagon Alley is probably one of my favorite areas in the parks because you have walked into Harry Potter. It, it, it's like you walked into the set and on it from the movies mm -hmm. and it's immersive. Yeah, so I agree. The theming is absolutely top notch. And here's the thing. I have never been to a major theme park before until this time. Uh, now, she's been to Disney World twice. twice. Mm -hmm. Yes, so she knows a lot about theming and how important it is to her. But for me, I had never been to one. Now, I had been to City Walk before back in high school, um, but never really entered the parks. So, um, I mean, I've gone to Six Flags, and it's not that... I mean, there's some theming there. I've been to Silver Dollar City, and there's some... there's massive theming there the whole park is like a you step back in time sort of thing mm -hmm. but being in this major theme park like this the theming like she said when i walked into diagon alley i went holy cow this thing this place is amazing like it looked like it was from the movies mm -hmm. and even walking through the mummy the mummy yeah. was really neat they had their own little like dialogue and you felt like you were backstage of the set and everything mm -hmm. so they set it up for you to go into the ride too and uh, ah, the Minion Mayhem, Despicable Me Minion yeah, Mayhem. So you cool. felt like you were in Gru's house. So it was really, really neat. And uh, so. I think that another thing that I really appreciated of the parks was that if anyone was acting inappropriate in the parks or in line, especially in line, we had an incident where someone had taken too much alcohol and mm -hmm. made us very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So, um, when we were going through line in Hulk, I actually pulled aside a team member and told them that they were intoxicated in front of us and they were being very obnoxious and loud and we felt mm -hmm. highly uncomfortable. The yep. team members, um, actually there had been reported once already to them by someone else and then they pulled us out of line, which we actually got, went through the child swap line, which meant we didn't have to wait in line very long. No, they put us right mm -hmm. up, ready to go. Yeah basically jump on the ride since we had dealt with them halfway through the line mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. and security was called i'm sure universal took appropriate actions um yeah with that situation but we felt so happy to mm -hmm. be able to be taken out of the situation yeah. and moved where we didn't have to deal with it anymore so right. a job on um team members and training and everything i thought they did wonderful yes on that situation Mm -hmm. a, another thing that we really liked was just the rides. Yes. I mean, the rides are wonderful. Um, my favorite ride has to be Hagrid's. Um, yeah, you mine feel too. like you're riding a bike or a yeah. motorcycle. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's great. Yeah, like you, you sit on a motorcycle and the, there's a sidecar on one side and you're just weaving and bobbing through everything and like you don't go upside down either. And that's the crazy thing. And it is the best roller coaster I think I have ever ridden. I would, so. yeah, I think I, it, it's very up there for me. I don't know yeah. if it's my best or not, but I would definitely say it's really close. Um, mm -hmm. There's not a bad ride mm -hmm. at Universal. I mean, it depends if you like your roller coasters or not. Yeah. Um, My only bad ride, I think, would be the Simpton, Simpkins? Simpsons. 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 <laughs> the Simpsons ride. Um, <laughs> but because of motion sickness. Yeah, yeah. I had to close my eyes through almost all of it. Um, but I get sick on some rides that Disney It's like too, it's like so. a 4D ride, right? Mm -hmm. do, do you have goggles? I can't remember if we had goggles for that for that so. one. I don't think so. I don't think so. Cuz I would have took those suckers off really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like when you when you're going like the the big thing is there's there's a part in it where like there's a lot of different color changes that's flashing in front of you a lot mm -hmm. and the car that you're in is shaking. So that um 
I mean, I even agree. I don't struggle with motion sickness, but I mean, even with that ride, I kind of came out of there like, whoa. I had to take a moment, actually. Yeah. I had to sit down, eat something, eat a snack real quick, yep. and take some water before we mm-hmm. trucked on the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. That was an intense ride for me. Uh, Mission Space at Disney World is very intense. The tense section, obviously, is intense. And mm-hmm. so that probably was more to me than Mission Space, I will be honest. So I could not comment or speculate on that. Um, i trying to think of any other rides that we enjoyed a lot. You really liked Kong. Yeah, Kong was, I thought Kong is awesome. The queue's great. The mm-hmm. the ride itself, you are looking everywhere. You don't know which 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 area in the yeah. um, little bus to look at. I, I loved yeah. it. Um, it's based off of the same, uh, what is it called? The same. Skull Island. Yeah, no, the same ride function as Fast and Furious. Oh, yeah, so, they, they put you in little vans mm-hmm. and you go around, there's screens on each side and there's some animatronics as mm-hmm. well. The, I mean, there is a massive Kong animatronic. It's huge oh when gosh. you go through there. So, like, I, I highly recommend riding that ride. Mm-hmm. So that's really, really neat. Um, Fast and Furious, I'm a no. Yeah. <laughs> they had so much potential I love the Fast and Furious <laughs> rides and they had such potential for that. And... Um, I mean, if you if you're a fan of the ride, I'm sorry, but it's it's just not my cup of tea, really. It it just kind of it didn't it didn't hit it for me. And I'm I not feel gonna like stand in line over 30 minutes for that no, ride. No, no. If it's got a five minute wait, yeah, why not? But just to go through the queue, the queue's the best part. Yes, of it. the queue is cool. Uh, it's got all the cars. You walk through a garage, and even at the end of the ride, uh, which are which it's out in the open, so you don't have to ride it to go see it. There's there's different cars out there, and um, there's one from uh, Toretto's car from that um, he's running from Shaw in where he jumps off the cliff and everything that's in there. So I mean, that's cool. That part is cool. Some of their merch is cool as well, but um, the ride just didn't didn't hit. <laughs> uh, the mummy though, that ride's fun. Yeah, um, we loved it actually. Mm-hmm. I think we rode it twice. We tried for a third mm-hmm. and. I thought we did get on there three times and tried for a fourth. We tried for third, oh, and um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do so. Yeah, but right. it was it was a great ride. Honestly, and we, we did it before they refurbished it. Yes, too. so we got nice the original, mm-hmm. um, which I really wanted to just come back and yeah. see the second. <laughs> yeah, I want to see so. how they refurbished it and everything. Uh, actually, I think all of the Harry Potter rides I had zero issues with. Mm-hmm. Uh, the hippogriff ride when you first look at it you're kind of like it's a kid ride yeah that looks like a kid roller coaster when you get on it it's really not too bad of a roller coaster and buckbeak buckbeak yes yeah you get to see him and we didn't know that so it was mm-hmm. like a great little surprise at the very beginning of the ride that you actually get to see him i think he does he move around is he an animatronic or not yeah, I think he's an animatronic. Okay. I do. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But yeah. that was so cool just to see. I mm-hmm. wish I had like something to take a picture of him <laughs> yeah. when we were riding it. But mm-hmm. it's it's actually a, a pretty good ride. I would ride it one time mm-hmm. just so I can see Buckbeat. Um, um, Harry Potter's um, Forbidden Journey. Mm-hmm. You walk into Hogwarts Castle. Yes! Um, it is so neat because that part like... You're in the little lockers and you're putting them in, and then you're like walking through parts of the castle. Do do you go through the the great hall where you eat the, so, the cafeteria area? That part is where um, we're loading up onto the. Um, ah, that's right. The, that's the right. seats or whatever you're that you ride into on. The seats, yes. And if you look up, you can see all the candles that mm-hmm. are up, like floating. It is a great ride. It yes. really is. Yeah, really, really enjoy that. Mm-hmm. So, um, Jurassic. Park. Oh, I love that. That was one of my favorite water rides, actually. Um, mm-hmm. I'm a big Jurassic Park fan, though. Yes. But um, it, it, it's really fun to kind of see that um, the animals or the, the dinosaur animatronics mm-hmm. moving around and scaring you. And then even, like, the plunge is kind of intense. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's really, it catches you off guard how far mm-hmm. up you really are. But um, it's a good, cool ride to mm-hmm. wear or to ride on um, during a hot day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like when it was taking us up, I was sitting here like, oh, okay, we're just going to go up and over. No, mm-hmm. you go all the way up and then it kind of takes a small little drop and you float around. And then um, out of nowhere, there's this big T-Rex and you kind of lift up a little bit and then it's just mm-hmm. a pew, and you're like, 
oh, this is a lot steeper than I thought. And then when you go back outside, well, when you go back outside uh -huh. and you look at it and you see where you come out of, it's a lot further than how it feels on the ride. Too. Yeah, it does so not look like, as uh -uh. steep as it is mm -mm. <laughs> when you're riding it. No. So, and then, so speaking of that, did you meet somebody there at Jurassic Park? Oh, we got to meet Blue, <laughs> the raptor. Um, He is so cool. Or is she, it she? It's she, a she. She all, is all females, so cool. You're a Jurassic Park fan. Oh, this is true. All, but, all, um, all, all, all anyways, dinosaurs are female. <laughs> so, um... Blue is really cool um, interaction, kind of character meet. Mm -hmm. You can take your picture. You can film it. Um, mm -hmm. She comes at you. <laughs> she yes. lunges yep. at you. Um, actually, I wish we got it on film. But we do, I do wish. But we, there's a video. Here's a here's a photo of it mm -hmm. right here. So um, so basically, Blue, the um, trainer, is working with her while you're trying to take a picture mm -hmm. and. He told me to tell her hi, so I turned around and tell her hi, and she came right at me. <laughs> and in the picture, you can see I'm like kind of like scrunched down because yeah, that's what she lunged. Away. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's really neat. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have like baby raptors now. We didn't get to see that, but I did see some photos of kids was, ha handling baby ones. I thought that so. they had the the little baby animatronic in the guy's hand while we were there. I'm not sure. I can't. Or remember. was it the people in front of us? Probably people in front. Probably. Of us. People I'm in happy front of us. that we got to meet Blue. Yeah, I was so. okay with Blue. So. <laughs> Um, so what next? Another like that we had was the universal app. Your oh, world yes. revolves around the app, yes, just it like does. it does at Disney World. Um, probably not as much as Disney World, but, mm -hmm. um, wait times, um, mobile ordering, um, what else? Mobile ordering for your food. Yes. Yeah, food. That's what it, yeah. Um, just everything is revolving around there. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a great way. You need it. Um, yeah. Universal did a great job on that one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I really liked... Now, it was confusing at first, ordering things, mm. and then, like, where where was that? Was it the Three Broomsticks in Hogsmeade? Was that the first place we ate? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was the first place we ate. So we ate at the Three Broomsticks, and um, we had fish and chips. You had fish and chips, and I think I had something else. Yeah. I, I don't remember what you had, um, but we'll put that later in a review but uh i asked a team member i said hey uh did, did, did we do this right is this what's happening like I, i'm not sure she goes oh no you have to do it like this this and this and ever since she did that it was easy it was smooth mm -hmm. sailing so like ever since then it was like click 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 done yeah click, we kind of learned click, it's a learning curve yeah and, you know one moment just so mm -hmm. you can get it down mm -hmm. and then you're good yeah and what was nice too like even at louis um I didn't know that they were mobile order too, because some were, some weren't, and we were very confused by that. Um, we're like, confused. Uh, like think... Finnegan's was not, and neither mm -hmm. was Mythos. So your sit down restaurants are not mobile order, obviously. Um, your well, counter they weren't services. When we were there. I don't know if they are now. I, don't, I yeah, would say I, no. I would say um, no too. But your counter services are mobile order, mm -hmm. so Quick, I'm sure yeah. Disney's the same. Yeah. But um, it it made it easier though, because then that way you got it done. Mm -hmm. And, well, and one thing that we really liked was even if you hadn't ordered yet, you were able to go in and sit down. And when you sit down, you can take your mask off, which was which was really nice. I, I kind of liked that. Um, it was kind of like a U.S. zone that they have there. Uh, I think they still have those there right now. So, mm -hmm. um, One thing I really appreciate about Universal is that they are so close together, the parks are, that mm -hmm. you can either walk or you can ride the Hogwarts Express if you have the two parks to right. go back and forth. Right. And... I appreciate the closeness of it because you don't have to leave the park, you know, wait in line for a bus to go to another park like Disney World. Right. I, I really like that. However, mm -hmm. that there's a little bit of a dislike in that. Yeah. That's kind of a double-edged sword with us. Um, do you want me to talk about that part? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So what uh, the, the double-edged sword with that is that if you're trying to get on the Hogwarts Express, sometimes it's up to like an hour wait. So you might as well. It is in well, AC though. It is in AC. Mm -hmm. So that is nice. But... Um, you can get express passes so that like if you don't have one mm -hmm. of those which I think it's silly that they offer that in my opinion because then it cuts down the time that people are trying to travel to the next park um, I get it and it, it, at the same time it's like eh but still it's the waiting in line so like if it's got a 60 minute wait you might as well walk to the front of the park walk out and go all the way through city walk to islands of adventure now you see what I just said that's my other issue with it is you have to completely leave the park leave the park and walk through mm -hmm. city walk i mean you're still on the resort i understand it we both understand it and it's oh. not 
a huge issue. I, I feel like there could be another option for people to move through the park. Like, mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be Harry Potter themed either. Just you, walk through a, a section. Yeah. Like, you, make a shortcut. Yeah, and I know that they had something for annual pass holders at one point where mm-hmm. you could take off from somewhere around Rip Ride Rocket. I don't and, I don't, I don't know. And cut but... through and come out through Seuss Landing. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that they had that. And um, I don't know. I feel like something, some other sort of attraction kind of like uh, Hogwarts Express could be put in. And I understand why that's in. Because it takes you from Diagon Alley and um, uh, Platform 9 and 3 quarters. And takes you into Hogsmeade where it actually ends up in the books and the movies. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense so um i also feel there could be something like from universal studios like tie into islands of adventure like that also i just think if you just put me a trail i'm good no right. <laughs> i'm pretty basic put me a trail um that way i'm not walking or all the way out and coming back in moving walkways yeah would be put something kind of in ideal. there so yeah another thing that universal is doing great in my opinion mm-hmm. that i like is doing like the fact that if you stay on property you're so close to the parks already yes even if you don't stay at their main deluxe um resorts that are even closer if you're staying at the value ones like we did yeah in the summer you're probably what three blocks four blocks away something like that there's like maybe three stoplights you got to worry about and half the time we were sitting at a stoplight for maybe two minutes yeah and it like took us there and it was it was great so. It, it's nothing like Disney transportation from your resorts to the parks. You are going to be there pretty quickly, Yeah, in my opinion. Um, if you stay at Hard Rock Cafe, you walk right up to Universal Studios. Yeah. You, it's, it's, it's walkable. There's mm-hmm. no point in riding. Unless, the only one that has a long travel to is Volcano Bay. And that's understandable because it's kind of off on its own a little mm-hmm. bit. But it's not very far. It takes, what, five minutes max to get there? I'd say a little bit more, but... um. Okay, less than 10. Yeah. Yeah, way it's less not bad. than 10. So, so I was impressed by Universal having their resorts um, very close to their parks. Mm-hmm. I like that feature a lot. That was good. Now, that also has a double-edged sword, too. Um, when... What was it? Was it our, almost our last day? Like, our second to last day there? Mm-hmm. This big rainstorm came in, and um, we were leaving... And we got caught in the middle of the storm. We, we did. We got caught in the middle of the storm. So we took off and went to our um, uh, place where the bus picks us up in transportation. And it wasn't there. No buses. Uh, there was no buses there. And I think it would have been okay had we not had to be huddled up underneath this really small awning. During COVID times, by during, the way. Yeah, during COVID as well. And it had, you know, social distancing was Gone. out the window at that point. Everybody wanted to stay dry. Um, I feel like the entire walkway there where they pick you up and drop you off could be covered. And, Absolutely. And there, there, I don't think there's any reason why it shouldn't be. Uh, so that's kind of my dislike on the transportation. Like we had to get a, we had to. We got a taxi. Per- yeah, we had to purchase a taxi and it showed up faster than the bus did. Yeah. And um, so that was kind of a. I mean, we had to pay like what, like 10 bucks or 15 bucks for a taxi. But yeah, I was at like that, that point, I was okay with it. We were comfortable with. No, no social distancing and mm-hmm. um, waiting in a storm when it's lightning and mm-hmm. downpour torrential rain. Yeah, because um, we so. had stuff that we bought that we really couldn't get wet. Yeah, we didn't want to get wet. We mm-hmm. also didn't want to get soaked. Right. So, I mean, we were... I mean, we had ponchos, but still... Ponchos they, don't go very far when torrential rain. They don't go very rain. far when it's, yeah, <laughs> when it's a downpour, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, another part about staying on property, though, was they limit the capacity at the time and i think they are still doing this as well um I'm not sure you'll have to let us know if yeah, you are in, put it in the comments, area yeah put it in the comments below let us know if uh if they're still doing this or not but uh when it came to the capacity numbers we were included in that yes. number so that was nice so like our tickets did not go to waste and our stay didn't go to waste and it was it wasn't like we yeah, we're staying on property and we decided to sleep in today and then we show up at the park and it's like, oh, we're at capacity, sorry. And it's like... What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> we didn't have to face that Mm-mm. situation. You know, it wasn't like somebody who I, and who lives there that, uh, you know, woke up and decided to... Or somebody who was staying off property yeah. decided to wake up, get their tickets and go in. If they were at capacity, they were at capacity, sorry. 
but for us it was nice so that's like the benefit of staying on property there mm-hmm. so i think it's just i would stay on property again absolutely i, I didn't have an issue with our mm-hmm. hotel at all i mean there was a couple things but we'll talk about that later yeah so <laughs> so another thing about universal is is that they have shows mm-hmm. and at the Universal Studios side, they have two shows, which is the horror makeup show, which mm-hmm. I am a huge fan of. Yep. Um, that is the only place, I believe, where you can see Beetlejuice right now. Yep. And he is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> He's he, hilarious. He is exactly like the movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and... Um, he likes to put on a show, you yeah, know. Just, absolutely. He, he's the center of attention. Uh-huh. Um, the makeup show part was, is okay. Yeah. You kind of learn some things. Um, yeah. It's a little cheesy, but I, I, just to go to see Blade Juice, I would do it yeah. again. I mean, he was making fun of a group of uh, guys there that were just all guys, and they were there <laughs> being single. Yeah. And there was a group of girls on the other end <laughs> that he was trying to... To play matchmaker yeah. with him. He's like, hey, uh, come on over here. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Beetlejuice. Fellas, fellas. <laughs> and they even had some, uh, uh, there was a girl there who was cosplaying just like yes. Beetlejuice. And um, he was pointing her out and interacting with her quite mm-hmm. a bit too. So it was. He's flirting with her. Yeah, he was. <laughs> it's Beetlejuice. Plain and simple. So. Um, now the born spectacular. Stuntacular. 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 Yes. Don't, wow! Yeah, don't give away too mm-hmm. much for this because we don't we don't want to spoil something for you. But we will say mm-hmm. this is a must go see. Yeah, um, very very interactive, and it's it's kind of a one of a kind show too. Um, now they wouldn't let us film inside any mm-hmm. of these shows, uh, unfortunately, but we get it. We understand. It's the rules. It's the rules. So, um, but with the Born Stuntacular, um, you're constantly following around in it um they've got people flying over the top of you like this on on some things and um it's kind of a one of a kind sort of thing that uh we had never experienced before so we really really enjoyed it so one in between like and dislike was our character meet and greet covid um that kind of changed things up for theme parks um especially disney and and universal as well so. so you didn't get to see him really I mean you did but mm-hmm. you had to stay far away like um, I mean here's a photo of me with Bart and uh, I had to be this far away from him like I would have mm-hmm. much rather been like right up here with her like this going like what's up but I couldn't um, and we get, we, we get it um, it was the same thing like there was a part with uh, the Scooby Doo and the gang yeah and uh, they're all on pedestals and you have to be out and away and then uh Doc Brown. Mm-hmm. Um, who did you get one with? Um, Puss in bo- Boots. I think you got one. Yeah, you have one. And he didn't really interact. Um, he just stood there and posed. Yeah. Um, you had some Marvel characters that you yes. stood and posed with. They yep. didn't. They interacted a little bit. Yeah, they did. They, yeah. I was wearing my Iron Man shirt <laughs> at the time, and they were like, oh, yes, Iron Man's here. <laughs> and I'm like, that's right. It's time to handle stuff. Um, but I think the most interaction I got, we got with, um, was Beetlejuice, mm-hmm. you know, um, and then the wand experience. Um, Did, the didn't wand you maker. meet a penguin also from Penguins of Madagascar? Mm, I don't think so. No, um, there was a minion after uh, uh, Minion Mayhem. Yeah, there yeah. was one of those. So, but there wasn't a whole lot of characters that you could get really close to, except mm-hmm. for outside the Mummy. Oh yes, the stilt walkers. Mm-hmm. Um, they were really cool. They were, <laughs> yeah. And you can't get them to talk. Like no. if you can get one to say something, impressive. But you won't. <laughs> they're they're like the queen soldiers. Um, yeah. they're not gonna interact. <laughs> they're gonna interact, but they're mm-hmm. not going to um, speak with you. Mm-hmm. Um, you uh, we could get kind of close to the uh, transformers. Like so, we got a, a shot with Optimus Prime. Yeah. Um, you could talk to Donkey a little bit. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So that was kind of cool. We didn't really get to talk to him. He was uh, sleeping at yeah. the time. He was snoring. But um, some other families got to interact with him, and he was making fun of their matching shirts. We so. got the we got the shrunken head too. <laughs> oh yes, he the was neat. Head. He was Very a lot of fun. Cool. <laughs> um, we interact with him. So remember the other video that we yes. posted. This link right up here uh, shows our interaction with him. Mm-hmm. So. All right. So let's get to the dislikes. <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, you can't have all likes, unfortunately. I know, you can't. Well, there's one thing that's going to be like a like and dislike, so you mm-hmm. want to start with it. Okay, so... The food. The food. Yes. Let's. Start, you want to start with the likes? Okay. Let's my, start with the likes. My likes was Finnegan's. Yep. Mythos. 
Yep. These are all sit downs. Um, Louis is a mm-hmm. counter service. Mm-hmm. Um, the Harry Potter restaurants we ate at both mm-hmm. of them. Great. Yep. Um, butter beer is fantastic. Uh, a must do. Yep. <laughs> must have butter <laughs> yes. beer. It's great. Um, try Even frozen and frozen regular. Frozen and regular. Mm-hmm. And if you're there, uh, what is it during the Christmas yeah, season? Yeah. Winter. Okay, the winter season. Mm-hmm. They have hot butter beer. Uh, we want to go so bad just yes. to try that. We hear that that's mm-hmm. the best one. But to me, honestly, in my personal opinion, I like the regular butter beer. Mm-hmm. Um, Frozen's a little too frozen for me. Yeah, it uh, <laughs> it was a little hard to get out of the straw, yeah. but uh, the regular was was good. Yeah. So, um, um, I liked all of the restaurants that she, she said too. Um, one thing I, I really, really wish we would have done was I wish I would have went and got a crusty burger, and I decided we decided not to, but. <laughs> It did not sound appealing to it me not at sound all. Good to her, but because they put cheese whiz on the on the burger, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I but, was happy uh, you took one for the team and went somewhere else. Yes, but. <laughs> it's a, it, it, it's okay though. I know that we're gonna go back, and uh, that is one of my must tries, as well as Mel Di- Mel's Diner. We want yeah. to try it. Yes. Uh, but, the Monsters Cafe and the Monsters I Cafe really was open. That. No, um, it was a little meeting area, um, break room uh, it was a, for yeah, team members at the break time. Room for team members. So that is a definitely a must do for mm-hmm. us. But uh, our food at Finnegan's was great. Our food mm. at Louis for theme park pizza was actually a lot better yeah. than what I thought it was going to yeah. be. Um, Mythos. Mythos was fantastic. Um, yeah. I had a chicken meal and she had some noodle pasta noodle pasta thing. thing. <laughs> but they were both delicious. Yes. So, um, um, but there was a dislike. The one place that we did not like was mm-hmm. Dagwood. Yeah. Dagwood sandwich. Um, so when we did our research going in, we thought it was, we could build your own sandwich mm-hmm. and um, put anything you wanted on it if they had it out there as an ingredient and put it together. Kind of like a it, Subway in a way. Yeah. Kind of like a Subway, but a fun Subway. Yeah. Like, like, oh, here's Short Cheetos. Night. Throw Cheetos on here. Throw jalapenos on there. Throw this on there. I mean, marshmallows on there if you want mm-hmm. to, if they had, I don't know. But still... Um, you could make all these different crazy combinations and then from what I understood was Dagwood would come around and if he didn't like your sandwich, he'd take it from you and bring you a different one. Um, which was okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, We didn't get that experience anyways because of character we, and COVID. We but. didn't, yes. Uh, when we walked, we walked into the store and we kind of got um, scolded a little bit like we were school children and was told to, you we guys need to wait. Yeah, <laughs> you guys need to wait at the door. And we're like, what? We oh, didn't know what was going well, on. There's no sorry. markers, the, nothing. No sign, mm-hmm. nothing to tell us what to do. And so we got there. We're like, okay, fine. And so we sat there for a second and we said, what do we do? And this was the only place you had to stand at the door before you could mobile order. And I felt that that was like, really? Like we didn't know you have no signs. It was kind of. You can't see the menu. So you have to see your mm-hmm. menu on your phone. And they had one option. Mm-hmm. And it was a it was just a regular kind of like a cold cut sandwich with lettuce and um, Subway's better. Yep, uh, I could have made the sandwich myself personally. But with the mobile ordering there, like there's things that I don't like, mm-hmm. and so I couldn't take it off of that. Yeah, and I couldn't, couldn't add any... things onto it. So mm-hmm. I had to talk to the lady after she scolded us and try and explain to her this is what I want, even though she wouldn't even come up to our table once we were seated. Yep. Um, so that you kind of had to yell across the restaurant and, Mm -hmm. um, even though it's a smaller restaurant, it, it it was very lackluster. Um, Universal can do much better, better training. Very, very poor experience. If you've had a different experience, comment below and, and tell us, uh, Mm -hmm. we would, we would love to possibly give it another shot if it's not that way. But like this time, as of right now, we don't, we don't feel like going back. Mm -mm. So. So another pretty big dislike in my opinion because even though we were doing COVID times which means the parks were less capacity um the locker situation mm-hmm. I am a Disney fan <laughs> Disney park fan and for me to have to lock my stuff up in a locker is wasting my time to get onto that ride and my stuff is not with me and I don't like those two things mm-hmm. so you're wasting time putting that stuff in the locker. You're waiting in line. Even even though it was COVID times, so there was less capacity. Those lockers, I'm sure, at normal times are get way too busy. And people are on top of each other. 
So I am not a big fan of the locker system at all. I understand for safe people's safety, such as the Hulk and Rip Ride Rocket, which is a huge um, roller coaster, you have to put your stuff up there. They have metal detectors to make sure that you're not wearing anything metal um, that you can throw off of rides and hurt other people. Unfortunately, people should not be doing that, and they know better. Yeah. But um, because most of so, so many rides there, I would say, unless it was a child ride, you have mm -hmm. to put your stuff up. And I just did not like that. Disney doesn't do that. Um, you can you have like a little cubby that you can put things on in front of you, or you know, Silver Dollar City. If you've been there, they have yep. cubbies off of the ride that you can put your stuff up, um, and hope nobody gets it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I like to keep my stuff with me, and I did not like the locker system at all. Um, you don't pay for your lockers. That's one great thing. Um, Universal does. Some theme parks don't. Six Flags, um, but unless it was a water ride. Yeah. But. I don't like it. I just don't. Mm -hmm. That's one of my, I guess, a nitpicky thing. But So I'm a little different than you on the lockers. Um, I, I did kind of like it. I was able to put my stuff here, and it was locked and secured, and I didn't have to worry about it like Silver Dollar City. Like mm -hmm. um, when we went to Silver Dollar City, we would set our stuff. We would, we would have to walk through the roller coaster, set it in a little cubby hole like you were in kindergarten, mm -hmm. just a little box. box that you put your stuff in, and it was open to everybody. And then you get on your ride. Well, you have multiple cars running or trains running, I should say, as they are. Mm -hmm. And somebody can get off another thing and go grab your stuff and walk off. And your camera's not. gone. Yeah, yeah, your camera could be gone. <laughs> and I don't like that as much, but I also I also understand why Silver Dollar City does it that way. But with Universal, I liked being able to put my stuff away. But like she said, I don't like. I wouldn't like getting all. Um, clustered together there at even uh, normal times i don't normal, want to be during there. normal times now mm -hmm. during during this time they let you go in one at a time and you mm -hmm. were sectioned off like okay yes. go to section three go to section four go to section mm -hmm. seven okay fine but sometimes i couldn't go with him and we both had two backpacks right so, so i did not like that mm -hmm. so she had to go by herself mm -hmm. now one thing that i dislike about these is the jurassic park lockers i think it's silly you have to pay for those for a water ride Disney does not do that. No. So. I uh, I don't like that, you know, hey, I've got my expensive camera here. I want to put it in my bag and then put it in the locker and not worry about it. Sorry, you have to pay for it. And it's like, what? That's silly. I don't want to get that, that stuff messed up. Mm -hmm. Now, Popeye and Bluto's. They do have a little spot. They have a spot in, in the center of your thing that you cover up. And I'm freaking out the whole time thinking like our stuff's going to get wet. He was very paranoid. It didn't. I was surprised that it was a it, it, it looked all loose. I thought water was going to get all over that stuff, and it didn't. So mm -hmm. that's a great thing. And I kind of think that um, either Jurassic Park can install something like that on their big boat or don't pay for the locker. So I agree. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't like paying for lockers. Um, mm -hmm. Di Disney's doing it great. Universal catch-up. Yeah. That's, that's my opinion, though. I, I don't know anything about Disney, so I can't. But you will. I will. I will. <laughs> we are going to go. So, uh, the one last dislike, and it, mm -hmm. it, it's a small one. It is a very small one. Um, E.T. Love E.T. E. Well, it's a great ride. Yes. Don't, no, don't get us wrong. No, no, no. Listen, great listen. ride. Love we e. love e. the it's ride. classic. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so pushed out of the way. Yeah. Um, it's kind for, of in a... I'm oh, sorry. For it to be <laughs> what it is, a great classic ride, which is an opening day ride. Yep. It, had, it should have more appreciation and have be closer or have more things out in that area to attract more people yeah. to come through. Yeah. Because uh, we only rode it once. Yeah, we rode it one time and we were adamant. We were like, all right, we're going to go ride this. Like that mm -hmm. was, was that day one? Yes, that it was, was our day first one. day there. We go. First ride. Was That was on our first ride. Yes. No, Despicable Me was our first ride. Okay, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> no, I won't cut that out. Um, but E.T., uh, it was one of our first rides, though. It was all the way out there mm -hmm. and in the back by the kids' kids zone. And we liked it, and we wanted to ride it again, but we never thought of it because it wasn't around everything else. And that's kind of our dislike. If you're not paying attention, you'll, you're going to walk by it. Yep. You will walk by, forget about it, mm -hmm. and not even worry about going back because it's got, like, the Woody Woodpecker kids' zone back there. And it's Which like, is shut down. Yeah, they've, mm -hmm. they've shut it down. I think they're getting rid of it. And Barney was back Barney there. Barney shut down. It's gone. shut down Barney. Mm -hmm. um, 
So there was no real other attraction to pull us over that way to say, oh yeah, E.T. And like, don't, don't get us wrong. Like we probably should have paid attention and been like, oh, hey, we need to go ride that again. Yeah. And, uh, we are, it's going to be one of our first rides when we go back again, we will go ride it again. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but I think our overall review is, uh, we'll go again. Yeah. We'll go again. Gonna go Um, again. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, we had a wonderful time. It was a great honeymoon. Yeah, it was a fantastic um, honeymoon. So I think that anybody can go to Universal. Try not to compare it to Disney World if you can. Mm-hmm. Um, I think two what, different breeds yes, is what she says. Yes. Um, my biggest thing is is maybe why I didn't compare it so much to Disney World is because it was COVID time. Mm-hmm. So everything is going to be new. Everything's going to be different. Mm-hmm. And um, but. One great thing about Universal, I will say, is it doesn't require all the planning. You have don't have to plan every single minute out yep. like you do a Disney trip. And I love that about mm-hmm. Universal. Um, I Of course, I want to plan things. But you don't have to plan, you know, reschedule your She's eating. Planner. Yeah. <laughs> um, you don't have to schedule every single minute. And I love that about Universal. So great job on fixing that up, Universal, and not making it so planned out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I usually leave her to do all the planning and everything. If she asks me, do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? And if I say yes or no, then if I say yes, it goes in the plan. If I say no, then she decides if we want to do it or not. So, <laughs> it might still go in the plan. <laughs> it might still go in the plan. So it it, it doesn't um, – She's a great planner, and that's why I leave her to that because if I were to plan something, it would be like, hey, let's do this thing. And then it's like when. <laughs> Uh, you know, you got that handled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, that being said, absolutely loved it. It was a great honeymoon. Um, mm-hmm. I got hooked on theme parks, like major theme parks, because of this one here. Uh, and we plan on going to more. So, yeah. um, anyway, that being said, uh, we're gonna sign off. Yeah, and, and make sure you subscribe again. Yep. Um, don't miss out on any of our vi- our adventures, adventures yeah. um, especially our mini series that's coming up. So. Yep. Yep. So hit that like button, subscribe, and notification button. Yeah. So that uh, we can bring on the next adventure. (laughs) Bye, guys.